Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com and in this video I'm going to show you a very easy way to make an HDR image using only Camera Raw. I'm not even going to go into the full-blown Photoshop at all. And so this is a feature that is kind of hidden in a way because I, I've never really seen it before. And so uh, so let's go ahead and jump into it. I'll show you how to get, uh, get started. All right, so I got my three images here. It's just of an interior bedroom here for real estate photography. And so all I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of these images. I'm just going to hold one, shift, or, uh, shift, and click down here at the bottom. It'll highlight them all. And you'll see this little button up here, which uh, is kind of like a little menu button. When you click that, you get Merge to HDR. And when you click that, uh, you get a preview here of, of how the image will look. Uh, you have your normal options that you would uh, as if you were doing this in Lightroom. You have Auto Align. You have Auto Tone, which will automatically generate a, uh, some toning with uh, increased shadows and uh, decrease highlights. I'm going to turn that off though. And then you got deghosting. Uh, in this particular image, I don't need to use deghosting, so I'm going to keep that off. So now I'm going to click Merge. And now this will tell me where to save the uh, DNG file that it creates. So I'm just going to save it on my desktop. And you can see it changed the file name to the images to HDR here. So I'm just going to click Save. And there we go. You can see we have another image down here. But we have still have our three originals. But here we have the HDR image. And then from here we can go ahead and do a bunch of different editing. This is very beneficial if you want to get as much data out of your images as possible. So I'm going to crank down the uh, highlights, increase the shadows kind of get some more tone going on in this bedroom so I can get as much information as possible. And you can just see I have all this data to play with. I can brighten it up as much as I need to. Uh, even go into the levels here. And play around with that. Turn, Take down the high highlights. And you know, just keep playing around with it. But you have, this is... This is basically the way to have as much data to play with as possible in your images. So that's a really quick way to do an HDR image only using Camera Raw. Don't even need to go into full-blown Photoshop if you don't want to. So I hope you guys enjoyed that quick video. This is Jordan from SleekLens.com, and I'll see you in the next video.